Welcome to the journey, day 149. Hello, CA Bay family. I'm so excited to be speaking to y'all today. Today, out of the four scriptures, Proverbs chapter 16, verses 8 through 9, spoke a word of encouragement over me today, and I'm going to share it with y'all. Verses 8 through 9 states, Better to have little with godliness than to be rich and dishonest. A man's heart plans his ways, but the Lord determines our steps. Do y'all know our prayers are powerful when they are rooted in a righteous life? Or they are powerful when they are rooted in a godliness lifestyle or holy lifestyle? Just as it says in verse 9 that it's better to have lot little with godliness, do you know prayer and how much attention you will give him will determine how much you will receive from him? For instance, if you're distracted, you don't receive much. But when you are praying and your attention is on him, even when having little, but when you turn off everything and disconnect, everything that's distracting you. For instance, fasting is a great way to disconnect from everything and to focus and to take time from him that will determine what you'll receive from him. So don't focus on what little you have. It is better to have little with righteousness than to be rich and dishonest. The Lord will direct your steps accordingly. Have you ever felt like you've been waiting on something from God and you go and you get distracted and you look around and see others getting their promises or what they have been waiting from God. And then you go and question yourself and God and say, is this really worth waiting on? But when you obey him, great rewards are coming to you. Some of you are waiting on God and the obedience has cost you suffering. The obedience has cost you relationships. The obedience has cost you financial hardships. The obedience has just cost you time in general. God is speaking to you right now and saying, because you have not grown weary, because you have not thrown the towel a long time ago, and you stuck it out. And here you are now, obeying and waiting on God, even with what little you got left. Great things will come to you. So today, don't focus on other things around you. Stick with that little promise that God has given you, and great rewards will come to you. Thank you, CFA. I love y'all.